Hello Assassins and Stranger Things fans, this is Wheel, and welcome back to another Stranger Things Season 4 tutorial. Now in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to build this Antonov AN2 single engine biplane. This is of course the plane that Yuri flies yeah, in the new series, and uh, it is the plane, spoiler alert, that uh, Joyce and Murray do end up crashing, sadly, because this is a beautiful plane. Uh, honestly, I am so excited to bring you this tutorial today because I am a huge nerd for aviation. I don't know if any of you knew that, but um, building planes and stuff is just so much fun in Minecraft. I love doing it, and I also love doing a bit of research on uh, the aircraft I'm building, so I can um, yeah just learn a bit about them whilst I do it. And I feel like it makes you want to build it in the best possible way, like more accurate, doesn't it? So um, yeah, here we have this Antonov AN2 single engine biplane. It is a Ukrainian plane, uh, even though, of course, Yuri is Russian. Uh, we have ourselves the peanut butter smugglers, actual smuggling stuff back here. So we have totally legal peanut butter in these barrels, of course, winky face. And <laughs> we have the uh, hostage taking sort of bench here, uh, where Murray and Yuri's kind of sit here all tied up. We have uh, the double seater cockpit. Uh, I should mention, by the way, guys, that uh, this plane can actually uh, have two members of crew and then 12 passengers. Now I know it looks quite small in the uh, sort of cargo bay back here um, but uh, apparently if this is like a passenger plane as well then it can be kitted out to hold 12 people which is pretty cool. So um, yeah we've got the two seats for the crew up here we've got some uh, legit peanut butter up here which is the distraction peanut butter that um, I think it could be it's it's either Joyce or Murray that throw it up here anyways to sort of create a distraction and then they can you know, wriggle out their restraints and stuff. Um, this is, of course, firstly seen when we actually see uh, Yuri for the first time. So this is going to be outside of his, um, what's it called, the flying fish on the hangar there. So it's kind of like his shoddy trademark name <laughs> for, um, you know, illegally smuggling peanut butter. So, um, yeah, it's a pretty awesome plane. This does a top speed of 160 miles per hour. Uh, and it can climb very very quickly and that is why it was still in service until 2001 Well, they were still producing them until 2001 I believe certain places still have them in service now, which is awesome. So yeah, let's go ahead and build this classic Antonov AN2. Okay then assassins, so as much as I try to make this tutorial as easy to follow as possible It can still probably get a bit confusing throughout as well So please remember the pause button is always there for your use and you can remember to comment any questions you may have down below as well. We'll firstly take some andesite, some blocks of coal, some spruce fence, some item frames, a grindstone kind of uh, thing here, polished dorite, an iron helmet, andesite wall, and some iron bars as well. What we're firstly going to do is kind of build our tarmac here for the plane to sit on, and this will also help us to determine where the landing gear is going to go according to our blocks here. So what I'd like to do is try and line up with my original one if I can. Here's a pretty good spot. Maybe move a little bit away so I can get the wings in. Here is pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and start by building myself nine blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just like so. And then you'll be able to have yourself a middle block here with four blocks on either side of this middle block just here. Perfect. Then what we're going to do is build up here by one on both sides. And then we'll go out to the left uh, sorry, out to the left here and out to the right on this one, like so. And then this is going to be our new counting point. This one here will go up for 26 and the exact same on the opposite side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, just like so. Now we'll quickly speed run, fill this in. And then what we'll do is, of course, we'll build up the other side 26 as well. Now we have one down. We can obviously bring this one to the same level. Remember to double check your work every now and again, guys, just to be on the safe side. Good stuff. And then we'll go ahead and build this one up and out again. So just adding two on both sides going up. And then this will connect into a nine block shape again. So we have nine on both sides and then they have a middle block as well on either end. Good stuff. Now we want to fill in this tarmac area with our andesite and then we can work on the plane itself. Let's go for it. Okay, so once you have done that, obviously well done for doing that guys, that is awesome. This is going to really really help us out now to uh, determine everything to do with the plane. 
we're going to go ahead and take our landing gear. This will be the block of coal and the rest of the materials we have here. We want to go ahead and determine which side of the runway we want to be our kind of front position, so where the front of the plane is going to end up. So I want mine to be this side of course. So I'm going to go to my middle block here and uh, obviously this is where the engine and stuff like that is going to be just here, the big propeller. We'll go around to this side here and on the start of our 26, we're going to count up for 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So stop here. Then count again on the A form, so go 1, 2, 3 and on 4 is where you're going to stick yourself a block of coal. Perfect. Now what we'll do is go 3 blocks away, 1, 2, 3, on 4, stick yourself another block of coal here. Now double check on both sides, you have 3 blocks, yep, and then also double check on this side, you, to, you come to the end and then you count down for 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Pretty sure that should be perfect anyways because they're in the same layer, but um, no, that is awesome. D double checking is always really, really important, but yeah, that's brilliant. Okay, so now we'll go to the very back of the build. We'll come to the end of the runway here, or the end of the tarmac. We want to count in for 8 blocks, and it's going to be on the 8th one again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and stick yourself one wheel back here like so. Perfect. This plane only has 3 tyres. Uh, most biplanes do. Uh, I don't actually think there's a 4 <laughs> four wheel plane. Is that even possible? Who knows? Even the bigger planes have like one wheel at the back. Ah, anyways, uh, <laughs> we'll go ahead and stick ourselves some item frames on both sides of our wheels, um, but not on the front and back. We will only want them on the sides. And do the same back here with a single kind of wheel back there. On the singular one back here, we can take our spruce fence and add our kind of spokes for the wheel. So we'll do them that way, and then we'll do the same with this one here. So we're going to do just the opposite way around with that fence. So I know it looks a bit strange, but um, that is actually all good. Then we want to take ourselves a polished door right block. We're going to stick a temporary one on top of the block, on top of the wheel, and then one above. And then we'll knock out this one and stick ourselves a grindstone block just here hanging down from the door right. Now that one can be kept there because that is going to be the back of the plane and almost where the tail fin is. Cool. Now we'll go right to the uh, front again, up to these two lots of uh, wheels. And we want to take ourselves some iron helmets. We'll stick these going kind of at an angle like that and then we'll do the same on this one so they're almost facing upwards a little bit uh, you can have them going along like this but um, it is up to you how you want them I just noticed on my original one <laughs> that's why I was changing it I was like oh no maybe maybe it's a bit different there we go like so and again these look like the sort of um, they almost look like hubcaps for the wheels here but of course planes again don't really need hubcaps so we're going to take ourselves some andesite walls on top of these like so and then we'll do ourselves iron bars coming out from both of the andesite walls like so. What is awesome about them is they actually do connect. Whereas if we're using some glass panes, that wouldn't probably connect to the uh, the andesite wall, which is a bit annoying. But there we go. Epic. Now we have ourselves the landing gear. Now, of course, we need to get ourselves a plane. So let's go ahead and get some more materials. All right, then, assassins. So we're going to take ourselves a lot of dorite for this build. As you can see, it is a very dorite heavy build. <laughs> It's actually really good though because um, in the period of time that this is set and of course in the location it's set in, the, um, the weather is just snowy all the time and uh, it is a very like uh, wintry sort of surrounding so the white helps it to be camouflaged and if you think that of course Yuri is a smuggler, this is going to help him stay out of the way of authorities. So we're going to take ourselves some polished dorite, some polished dorite stairs, some polished dorite slabs. A stone button and this will connect the uh, two front landing gear sort of wheels a smoker item frames blue terracotta a hopper <laughs> always gets me in a stranger things tutorial it's always fun to use and uh, a lever as well okay so we're gonna come to the very back landing gear back here firstly we will take ourselves a polished dorite slab we want to go ahead and sort of expose only the bottom half of this kind of grindstone so we'll go ahead and stick one here, one in the very back. Of course, you have to shift or crouch click to uh, be able to place these and do it around the three sides like so. We'll bring these two on the side forward just by a block. And then we'll take blocks here and here, one in here and one forward as well, just like so. Now, please bear in mind, guys, certain elements to the actual 
inside of the plane, so on board the plane, are going to be different levels. If I quickly run over here and show you, you probably saw this at the beginning, but as you can see, we sort of jump up and then jump up again. This is to give the illusion that the plane is sort of angled. Uh, so when it's on the tarmac, you know, all of the wheels in Minecraft are going to be on the same level. But um, in real life, this would be like angled up so the, the nose would be pointing to the sky. So uh, that is just, of course, because of the weight distribution. Like you need to have like more weight at the back because the propeller obviously is very, very heavy. So, um, yeah, we're trying to make that illusion in Minecraft with the inside uh, more so than the out. And you can see the little the little sort of ridge there. But um, yeah, that's going to be a little bit tricky to get done later, but not to worry. Let's go ahead and take ourselves some polished dorite again. We will take a block just here and then two forward here and two forward like so. Then we're going to do one out just here and the same on the opposite side. There's nice and symmetrical. Uh, sorry, there's a lot of symmetry in this like first bit. Uh, it's only when we get down, uh, down to the door over here that we sort of change up a little bit from the other side, but not really drastically. We'll go back to this one over here and we'll stick ourselves a stair on both sides, like so. We'll stick a block in here and we already know that this one is going to correspond to this one here because this is going to be where the tail fin is going to be. So we add in another two blocks there as well, just to match up to that one. We'll take two blocks here, one, two, and two there, and slab them over like so. So just up from the stairs. These slabs will go on for quite a bit because they're gonna make up most of the fuse de large um, for the actual plane, but uh, we'll keep that sort of kind of exposed at the moment. We'll take another block here and here, like so. And then we'll do a slab here, out from the block, and here as well, like so. Then we come on down to the side of the plane. Now on this side, so on the right side of the plane, if we're facing as if we were looking forward, um, it's all going to be normal, all going to be filled up, and it's going to have windows in it as well. On the left side of the plane, there is that cargo door that uh, we see where everyone kind of enters through this way. So uh, even the pilot and the, the crew. So this is going to be very, very important to get this one done as well. So what we need to do up on this side is we're going to take some blocks along. Let's go for one, two, three at the moment, just like so. We want to basically have ourselves five slabs up here on the very top. So we can bring that along now. So we'll go for two, three, four, five, bringing the blocks to uh, correspond to it. And then we'll do another two blocks on this side. One, two, up from the slab like so. Now down below here, this gets a bit different as well. We're gonna start with a slab just in here. Oops, sorry, here. And then we're gonna build ourselves stairs. We'll go for about five stairs. One, two, three, four. And on this last one here, we're going to curve the stair around the corner, just like so. So it's kind of missing out half of the bottom bit there. We're going to add in ourselves a block just in here, like so. And we'll do the same on the opposite side by adding in the block just there. Cool. That is looking good so far, guys. Now then, we know there is a kind of rule in this tutorial. We're going to do ourselves three slabs from the stairs and connecting to the wheels. Now that's very, very important. So we go one, two, three perfect and then we'll do the same on the opposite side Now the reason we do slabs here and not stairs is because as you can see we're lining up with the wings now so without these slabs we would have no wings and of course we just have a car if it was a plane without wings <laughs> so that is pretty cool we get that done as well uh, then we'll go back up to um, I think we go just underneath the wheels now just in here and we're gonna come down to Sorry, let me switch my picture around. Actually, we'll go to the other side. We'll do this side as well. We'll get up to the same point. So we'll come from the uh, the very back here where the tail is. We want to build ourselves four blocks here. We have number one, two, three, four, just like so. We'll add in two more slabs up here. We'll add in three slabs below. Uh, actually, no, we'll add in one slab and then we'll do two stairs upside down. Then we'll go ahead and add in a slab here on the lowest point of the stair. Then we'll go ahead and add ourselves a slab. Sorry, we'll replace these slabs with stairs, these two. So it's basically just the exact same, the opposite way around. And then we'll do ourselves a slab up here as well, on the very top of the stair this time. Now we want to go ahead and stick ourselves. Um, we'll do, let me just check. We'll come from these uh, slabs here, building three, 
and then we'll go one, two blocks back from it as well, like so. And now here we'll take ourselves a normal stair and then one on its side like so, upside down. So as you can see, matching up to the other side. It's pretty much the same, it's just this one door that kind of adds in a little bit of a spanner of the works. So we're adding ourselves another stair here and then we want to go for adding in our blocks just there. Now on this side, I think it could be being replaced by stairs as well. Yeah, so we're going to do ourselves from the first slab back, one, two, three, four stairs, just like so, just in here. It really makes the fuselage look like it's in a curved sort of cylindrical shape instead of it all being quite square like in Minecraft. So we're trying to make it look as plain like as possible, which is difficult, of course. There we go. That looks really, really good. So now I want to come down to, I'm going to go to the front of the plane, like the belly of the plane up here. I want to go ahead and bring myself, um, I'm going to bring one, two, three blocks along here. I'm going to go for one, two, just over the actual uh, landing gear just here. Uh, no, actually I'll just go the one above on both sides like this. So now at the very front of our landing gear up here, we're adding ourselves two blocks, just one on either side. Uh, both sides sorry that are gonna like overhang the front of the landing gear like so then we'll do an upside down stair on both of these with a curved upside down stair coming out from the actual floozy <laughs> what was i gonna say floozy large <laughs> fuselage like so awesome and then <laughs> crikey then we'll go ahead and build ourselves one two three locks in here so kind of uh, connecting up we'll do three blocks above the landing gear and then we'll do three blocks down here, connecting the slabs like so. Now we'll drop in here, we're adding ourselves a stone button on the ceiling between the two iron bars like so. And it gives us the illusion that they are connected like this. Cool. Then we'll come back up here and we'll go for adding ourselves uh, two stairs just here upside down and two stairs here just upside down. So as you can see, we're going into a bit of a inner sort of pattern here like that. And then we'll do ourselves two blue terracotta and then an upside down stair on the very front here. And this is going to be the actual nose of the plane. So there's going to be the propeller just past this and that is everything at the front. Backtracking to this block here, the first block of blue, we'll go ahead and stick ourselves an upside down stair so that the majority of the stair is facing the front. We'll stick an item frame on this one and a smoker on it like so. I believe please don't hold me to this one but i think this might be the intake or the exhaust for the plane i'm not really too certain i'm going to say it's the intake because the exhaust seems to be on the side there with all the uh, smoke kind of coming from it that would just make sense wouldn't it uh, <laughs> i literally built it and i've already forgotten but um yeah i think this is the intake for the actual um engine just here so we'll stick that on the belly of the plane like so we'll backtrack to here and add in three and then six blocks of door right and then we'll go back up to the uh yeah the top up here so we'll start to work on the actual propeller and those of the plane we'll take two blue terracottas on both sides we'll then do ourselves an upside down stair here and one on this side and then we need to go ahead and stick ourselves a slab at the very top here now we can't unfortunately stick anything uh that's going to be permanent in here just yet because we don't have enough materials for it what we can do is stick a temporary blue terracotta and then a polished dorite slab on top and knock out the blue terracotta, like so. It's basically gonna be a monster spawner in here that I chose for the engine block, um, and that will also have the nose. So then, on the side of the aircraft, we're gonna build ourselves one, two, three, one, two, three polished dorites, kind of coming back from the blue. We'll then stick ourselves a lever here and one the opposite side. We'll then do ourselves a item frame just behind the lever ones. And these will have hoppers in that are going to have the point towards the lever and then they sort of hollow out almost like an exhaust coming to the back of the plane so it's going to face the back and all the smoke will kind of bellow through the wings and uh, make it look awesome almost like it's on fire but like in a cool way <laughs> wicked that looks good and then we'll stick ourselves another um, blue terracotta just in here behind the engine block and that way we can add in ourselves wings, windscreen wipers, which are going to have a lever here and one here, both facing towards our other plane like so. Epic. Now then, we'll come back to, uh, I think, 
I think we should probably grab the engine block. I feel like we should do that now. Just whilst we have, we have look, excuse me, whilst we have item frames in our inventory. Let's knock out the smoker and let's grab ourselves a monster spawner. So if we do this now, then at least we can uh, get rid of our item frames for a little bit. So monster spawner in there, item frame on here, and then blue terracotta at a diagonal angle, just there like so. Epic, that is so cool. Okay guys, let's go ahead and grab some more materials and some more dimensions for building the rest of this epic plane. Okay then guys, so the next part, we're gonna be building the wings and we're gonna be building the top of the fuselage and um, the actual tail as well. Now I know it looks very, very complex, but don't worry, it's gonna be absolutely fine. We'll take ourselves some polished dorit, some polished dorit stairs, some polished dorit slabs, some iron bars once again, a lightning rod, jungle slabs, iron trap doors, and a site wall again, and some nether brick fence as well. Firstly, we'll come to the very, very back of the plane up here. We want to go from the uh, sort of slab and then the two blocks above here by adding ourselves a stair upside down on the back of the block. Then we'll do another block and another upside down stair. It only comes out two upside down stairs from the slab. Then we'll go for a normal block, a stair like so, two normal blocks, a stair, two normal blocks and a stair back in, so back to back stairs at the very top. Then we'll do ourselves a block just here with a slab, oops, a slab just there like so. So it kind of goes like a big jump there between the uh, slab and the stair above. But that is all good because it shows where the tail is and it makes it look like a proper tail. We'll do ourselves a slab for three blocks just on this one. So the second block down under this top stair. One, two, three. And then we'll do two slabs just in here. We'll do the exact same on the opposite side. One, two, three one two like so when you come to the back you can make sure everything is in line and then you'll take your iron bars and we're going to go for um i think we're going to go for one at the middle of the three so one here and one just here and we'll do the same again and what is epic about not using a block here is of course if we used a block connections no 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 we do not want that it looks way better when it's just like floating in midair like so <laughs> that is actually really cool Awesome, so that is now the tail, awesomely done. That is all completed. Do love the word awesome. There we go, so now we can go back to the very top of the plane and we can continue building up here. So what we'll do is we'll go for the two slabs here. We'll go for a third and fourth one. One, two, one, two, oops, two like so. Don't worry about the inside, we'll sort that all out later. So that's now four. Then we'll go for five and six, one, two, one, two, so two more. So now we have six slabs on both sides. Then we're adding ourselves a stair just here and a stair the opposite side and it should connect to the last stair that you have just here. Of course on this side you're gonna have a slab between your last stair and then the rest but that is all good. That is absolutely perfect. And then we're adding ourselves just a row of blocks coming really far back to the tail like so. We'll go to our second slab in and we'll add our first lightning rod just here. And you can imagine this is maybe for some radar or some radio waves or whatever just on there, or even a transponder just on the very top of the plane. Then we'll come down here and we'll add ourselves a stair here and here with another three blocks in between them. And then we'll do ourselves slabs between them again, just like so. And you can see we're sort of going from the very thin tail section to the very bulky cockpit area just at the very front of the plane. And that is coming along nicely, that looks really cool. Of course it does look like a big whale at the moment. <laughs> Without wings it looks like we're building a whale on wheels. Um, but uh, you know, we'll get there in a minute. <laughs> not, not to worry, it's all good. It's all going well. So now we want to go ahead and make sure that we absolutely have enough blocks in order to build you know, everything at the very front here. Now bear in mind that stuff at the front here will be changed up. So. You know, it may look like super, super thin at the moment, like the roof is going to be right here. That will only leave like a certain bit of room there and stuff. That's, you know, it's going to be fine. It's going to be absolutely fine. So we'll go for three blocks just in here. We'll go for, um, I think there's two blocks just in here and two blocks on this side as well. And then we'll do a slab here and here like so. So again, you can see the climb going up just there. It's quite a drastic climb, but um, it looks pretty cool. Then we'll come behind the slabs and we're actually going to build 
uh, stairs normally going out to the wings. Like so. They're not going to be inside the sort of plane, they're going to be going outwards to the wings. And we only do two of these because the majority of our wingspan is only two blocks in uh, width, just there. Then we want to go back with a normal stair but the opposite way around. So we're going to do a normal stair here. And then we're going to do one curved. Now this is a bit awkward. So we'll do the, the normal one on this side first as well. So going in. Now the normal one curved kind of goes in like this. Just like so. Now it can be uh, one of those sections that will catch you out. So just be on the safe side and make sure you get that one all in before you, you know, move on. We'll do two more slabs just in here. And here as well like so. So you can see the cutout section for our window. One, two, three blocks here. And three the other side as well. I think it could even be four, but I'm not sure. We'll have to check that later. Good stuff. All right, the next thing to do is to actually build blocks in. So we're just going to fill in blocks. Oops, sorry, that's stairs. <laughs> blocks in here. Uh, even against the uh, sort of opposite way around stairs like so. And then we're going to do ourselves a couple more rows at the very front up here. Um, I believe it's only just going to be one layer of steps like so. Yeah, that actually looks really cool. So only a layer of steps just at the very front there like so. Now I'll backtrack, we'll go one, two blocks in. On the second one, you can stick, uh, take yourself a uh, lightning rod. Don't count the step, just count the blocks. And then leave one, two, three. And on the fourth one, add in a lightning rod. So there's going to be a block here, then it goes into slabs again. Just like so. Perfect. And that is all your transponders and all that crazy stuff on the very top of the aircraft. All completed there like so. So now the next thing to do will be to build our wings. So starting with this wing over here, so my right one, if I'm facing the very nose of the plane, I'm going to go to the back sort of stairs here. I'm going to build myself 10 blocks, and then on the 11th one, I'm going to switch it up with some jungle. So we'll go for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And on 11, which is our final one, we'll do a block of jungle. And then we'll do a slab out the front as well. Then we'll backtrack with our slabs of door right, just to the very kind of body of the plane and then we'll do another layer of door right here but this one's going to be the full 11 don't worry about the uh, jungle at the front there awesome now we'll do the exact same on the opposite side so we'll do one two three four five six seven eight nine ten on 11 jungle block made of slabs with a slab out the front and then we'll take the slabs back with door right to the fuselage like so then we'll go behind this one and we'll add in the full 11 with our polished door right. And then we're gonna go ahead and like transfer a little bit of the uh, the weight from slabs only to some uh, iron trap doors as well. And these will represent the flaps of the plane. So the things that allow it to like break and you know fly to high altitudes and all of this crazy stuff. So we need to make sure we get these in. Very, very important on a plane. So we'll firstly, we'll come to the back of the aircraft. We will go to just here, like next to the fuselage area. Now we already have the body uh, having a slab here, so we want to start with a iron trap door. And we'll do this on both sides. And then we'll basically alternate this until we're left with one iron trap door. Now we'll move these to be next to each other so I can get this done quicker. So we're going to have one iron trap door at the very end, hopefully. There we go, perfect. And the same over here. ASMR with the clicks there. <laughs> there we go, like so. As you can see, that really looks like a plane now. Awesome. Now, it mostly looks like a glider because we have massive wings, but they're not really connecting to anything and we don't have an engine yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to build the secondary wings for the biplane, and then we'll add in the engine afterwards as well. So what we need to do next is firstly, we'll add on the side sort of fins. So we'll do two slabs just there and exactly the same on the opposite side. Just like so. Perfect. And now we'll drop down below and we'll add in the secondary wings below. So for these ones, we're going to go, I'm actually going to start with, uh, no, I'll start with this one with a door on it. That's fine. We will go to using these stairs just here. We will go to the first slab just here and we'll take ourselves an iron trap door and this will connect to the very top again. Now these ones are going to be a bit awkward because you can't initially just place them on there you have to do a shift or crouch click against them. So we'll do ourselves, um, we're going to only do about four of the uh, iron trap doors. So we'll go for one, two, three, 
four like so and then we'll do one more slab on the end like so these wings are going to be shorter on purpose to the ones above it that is absolutely fine so exactly the same on the opposite side make sure you get in the same row one two three four then end it with a slab just there like so awesome and now once again we'll do the exact same as above we'll go for one two slabs here and two out like so and then we'll do a slab here and this is going to be slabbed all the way along to the front like so we'll do the same on the opposite side one two with two out one here and then back into the front like so cool now the very bottom sort of wing here can be filled in with just your slabs oops not like that <laughs> not like that that was a bad way to do it let's just do this in here like so so all filling it in like that and then we'll do the same here I used to love biplanes I thought they were so cool I still think they're really cool it's just I haven't seen them in ages because of course I have really really old planes now that is looking awesome now we need to connect the wings of course because if this was to fly more than likely something is going to break so we need to go ahead and make sure that the wings are connected so we'll go for andesite wall to connect them and we'll go into this space just here not on the very tip but just to block in just like so to connect the wings like so same over here and then we'll do ourselves some ups and down stairs to kind of hold them on as well so we'll just do it front and back like that and that should connect on slabs um, on the front and the rear and hopefully the uh, sort of iron trap doors will get away with just being the flaps there and not connected to anything important wicked and now we'll next take ourselves our nether brick fence and we'll sort of build in these supporting beams again um, between them so these are going to be like the cables that sort of hold the wings again in shape if you imagine like a suspension bridge has to be held up by the cables this is kind of the same with the wings here so we'll go for adding in a fence here and then we're going to have a window here so we're going to add in, add in a temporary one and then one at the very top oops sorry just one there knocking out that one then we want to go ahead and build ourselves a block away exactly the same until the end here so until that kind of block away there and then we'll go for them above these ones and now you can see we need to add them in the middle these ones are going to be a little bit awkward i recommend adding in some andesite wall just temporarily so you can place them in there and nothing connects up like so cool and now we need to do this exact thing on the back here as well on the actual kind of flaps back here so we'll go for one two and then we'll do oops crouch 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 and then up here as well crouch 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 and the side wall temporarily and then placing the ones in here like so let's sneak out of this one awesome we're adding ourselves our jungle slabs just to give it a little bit more character so we'll go for adding in um, some jungle slabs in the front area just here one two like so and then we'll do the same on this side as well one two just there under that one andesite and then onto the uh the other one as well now we're adding our nether brick on this side one two three four above as well andesite wall temporarily between them and then we'll add in our nether brick just in here like so and then we'll do the same on the very back Sorry, this is a bit of a repetitive section, guys. But it's nice to have symmetry. It's always good to uh, have something that is exactly the same on both because it saves a lot of hassle. And there we go. Epic. We now have ourselves an actual biplane. It doesn't have an engine or a canopy or like windows or anything like that. But, you know, it's the shell of one. It's starting to look really cool. That is awesome. Oh, man, this is where I'm getting geeky. <laughs> Epic. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab some new materials and then we'll kind of finish up some stuff around the outside. All right then guys, so the materials we will need to complete up the exterior of our plane. We'll take a redstone repeater, a warped trapdoor, some normal glass, some normal glass panes, some mangrove trapdoors, some polished dorite stairs, some polished dorite slabs, a smithing table and a lever as well. Firstly, we'll stick ourselves our smithing table and lever on the inside of our plane, just in this little space here. Smithing table there, 
crouch or shift click for a lever just there like so and that can be facing the roof like so that's all good oh fell <laughs> that's what we need to kind of complete up we're going to try and get the uh the kind of flooring in for the actual plane as well firstly though let's add in our engine we'll take a redstone repeater and we'll stick it oops just there like so um and we're going to have the uh, sort of the, the two torches kind of either end of each other like so so the further is the way when you're looking at this from the side it looks like there's more sort of going on at the very top than there actually is um, but of course these are just windscreen wipers they're not anything to do with the engine but from the side it looks like you know oh my gosh there's like so much going on no 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 <laughs> we trick we trick a bit with uh, that sort of thing but that's all good <laughs> let's take some glass um, temporarily we'll stick one block just in here and then we'll go for one block here here and here so we've got four and then we'll do diagonally away up and down from these like so so we make this shape in here like so and then what we'll do is we'll fold down warp strap doors on all of these glass blocks and these will help us to build our propellers like that and then we'll just take out the glass blocks behind them and there you have yourselves a propeller so we have the engine now in for our plane as well epic now we'll take ourselves some glass we'll go for one two three in here and three on those polished rights we'll do a glass plane at the front of these so it kind of goes over the lever and then we'll do three glass blocks above the smithing table and the blue terracotta in there like so so it's a very very big sort of windowed cockpit and it looks really cool actually as well i think it really adds like a lot to this plane without the glass without having so much glass it wouldn't be recognizable but i think it looks really really cool with all that in there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to head on inside i'm going to come up here and of course we have these big sort of gaps between um, our walls now we want to go ahead and of course fill these in we don't want some like massive gaping goal goals holes in the side of the plane because that wouldn't be very aerodynamic so let's go ahead and build ourselves in a few things firstly we'll go next to the polished door right here we want to add in ourselves trap doors um, preferably all going the same way so the handles facing down and we're gonna do this for four so we're actually gonna knock out a block there and add in a fourth window like so we'll do the same here shift or crouch click to get them to go the same way and then we'll knock out this one and do the same just here like so then we'll add in blocks of door right just above with our slabs. And there we go. So yeah, as far as the interior goes, on our first lot of windows here, kind of dropping down from the cockpit and coming to the sort of canopy windows in here, so the actual like passenger windows, we'll take out these three blocks. Don't worry about the stone button that would have been here. That is absolutely fine. We can replace that one afterwards. We'll stick three slabs in here like so. What is awesome is because they're on the lowest point of the block, we can still place the button on that middle block there as well so we're kind of doing a bit of a trick here so that's all good we can place that button back afterwards just remember to because i will forget <laughs> so stick the three in there like so and now we have a little bit of a step going up to the cockpit now the cockpit can stay you know kind of with a small roof if you want it to be but i prefer it with like a bit of an open roof so what we'll do is we'll knock out that block there this block here the lightning rod should stay because it's not going to kind of be destroyed i'll replace two slabs in here a slab here and one here and then we'll do one two three more slabs here as well just like so so now we have a bit more of an open space for the cockpit as well and then we still have these blocks here which allow us to get up and down the step with no problem which is brilliant awesome now spinning back around to the end of the plane so back here into the tail of course we have the big sort of cubby hole back here now we don't really need all of this space so we can actually sort of block up some of this area all we need is like maybe two blocks or something to uh, to add in a bit of cargo. So we have a block here that's already accessible. We'll knock out that block and this one and just add in slabs instead. We'll bring slabs along from the very back for two blocks like so. And then we'll go ahead and build in ourselves. Uh, you know what? I might add in a block just there as well, like a slab there. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, no, actually, you know what? We'll keep it slabs. That's all good. Then we'll go to here and we'll add in ourselves another block here built with slabs. So we now have three. We're also going to do ourselves about three here as well. One, two, three. So we can add in the cargo. 
and then we want to go ahead and sort of make sure that this has like um, a bit of bit of room to get in and out you know so we'll do ourselves one two three four five six slabs like so and then two stairs just here like that so there's like a tiny little jump there going upwards and that is great and now that means we can slab over this area here from these blocks coming back to the actual area back here and in this one you can either add in a slab or a block in there depending on how you feel you can't really see it from the bottom of the plane which is actually really really good the only thing you can see is the little gap between the two you know the two stairs here so what i like to do is usually put blocks in this space because we don't really need to worry about adding slabs or anything in here so i'm just going to build in blocks just between them and then replace that stair in here like so awesome perfect and now if we pop on inside again we should have an entirely filled up floor ready to go for some interior stuff yeah that's looking epic okay well we have one material that we can use right now and that is the mangrove trap doors so we'll stick ourselves one just in here these are going to kind of represent some lights we'll go two blocks away and we'll place maybe uh actually we'll go um, We'll go, yeah, we'll go just here. So that's going to be about three blocks away, like so. Then we'll do one directly up here. And we'll add on ourselves a slab here on both sides. Just to add in a bit more of a, you know, it has to like look like that. So it's got like all the cabling and the ceiling and all that sort of stuff. And then we'll go ourselves two blocks away. Maybe add one in just before the cockpit. And then you can add one in the cockpit if you want to as well. But it's up to you guys. Whatever you want to do for that, that's absolutely fine. Uh, you know what, I might just replace it and add one in there instead yeah yeah okay that's fine ah, i see i'm sorry guys i made a little bit little bit of an error so we're going to take out this trap door on this one knock out these slabs and knock out these three blocks here that go next to the area of the window on this side just here and what we'll do is replace these with slabs one here and one here and there you go adds a little bit more light in as well because we only have you know like steps between the uh the sort of slabs here so that is all good and now we can add in a trap door just here and then yeah there's still a bit of a gap there between them perfect and then down here um, again you can add in another trap door if you want maybe like one maybe just here or even just there like so, so it's two blocks away again yeah that's perfect all right cool now we're ready to get onto the actual inside guys i honestly can't tell you how excited i am to be stood on board a plane and like be able to teach you the interior I know this is only a game, like I know Minecraft is only a game, but this feels awesome. <laughs> We're going to have to do more plane tutorials for sure. Let's take ourselves a composter, a spruce fence gate, some honey, uh, honey bottles, an item frame, a tripwire hook, spruce signs, a uh, lightning rod, an oak sign, and finally some barrels as well. We will go down to the very far end of the plane, we will take a composter, and then a spruce fence gate just in front of it, closed up like so. We'll then take another composter here, shift or crouch click to place an item frame on the very front, and then take a honey bottle in here on its side like so. Then we'll do ourselves four fence gates here, maybe this one open and this one open like so, just for some parachute storage or something just here. We'll then do ourselves three barrels along here, on their side if you can get them to be on their side, just here like so. Um, make sure to be a block away from this ending wall and then that way you can take yourself shifting or crouch clicking some spruce signs on both sides like this just to texture it a bit more another one here one here and then on the very middle one you can add in a little bit of a joke if you want to just saying like totally legal peanut butter and then do the winky face of course like so. So if the authorities come on and they're like, you know, inspection, customs inspection, totally legal peanut bar. Ah, fair enough. Then, you know, continue. <laughs> awesome. Then we'll take ourselves a lightning rod. We'll go from here and build this one along to the window. And we just stop where the window is like so. This is kind of the cabling of the aircraft. So this will go up and above as well. So we're actually going to build it up here. And it stops just there where the window is. Good stuff. Then we'll come back to... Uh, some more details so we'll go to this side over here now in front of this window but not all the way we're going to leave a space just before the slab so we'll do it here we'll go one two three barrels like so 
So literally just up from the step there. Epic. And then we'll take ourselves our spruce signs all the way around it again. Uh, this one can have a sign in the middle if you want it to, but on this one I kind of left it blank on my original one. Um, but you could also add totally legal prisoners and then like a winky face again or something. I don't know. <laughs> something silly anyways. And then we'll stick an item frame here and here for leads later to kind of show where um, Murray and uh, Joyce were all held up. We'll stick a tripwire hook just here and then we'll go to, yeah, we'll go working up now. So we'll do another one, two, three uh, fence gates open just up here for maybe like a rack again, like netting or something. Uh, on a lot of these old cargo planes, they have netting on the ceiling, which is awesome because it kind of gives you that adventurous sort of um, idea. And then on this one, we'll swap out the lightning rod for a true eye hook just here, like so. And that will be holding uh, like a coat hanger or something like that just there as well. Cool. Then we'll go up this one and we'll stick ourselves a item frame just here. So leaving this one, of course, because the lever here, we'll stick the honey bottle for the distraction just there like so. We'll stick another item frame here and here. And then we'll need to grab ourselves some more materials for the seats. For now though, on the second window, so the middle window of these three, stick a fence gate coming out from it and open it up like so. And these are going to be actually for the seat belts on the major sort of crew seats in an aircraft, which is pretty cool. So there we go. Okay, uh, there's one last thing we can do, which is to take our oak signs. We can head on outside. We can actually add a little bit of detail out here. We'll go to the nose, sorry, the uh, tail, the, the nose. Well, that looks like a nose, doesn't it? The tail even and we'll stick a sign just here and here this one will say ourselves i believe this is going to be like the serial number of this specific plane or like where it's from or something like that i'm not too certain i don't really know enough about that to say too much but we're going to add what it said on my one anyways which is going to be cc cp and of course guys if you want to do your own version of this please feel free to do so we'll do a little dash and then on this one, we'll do second row down again, the dash to continue it. And then we'll do a bunch of numbers, which are gonna be four, two, six, four, one as well. And then we're gonna copy this on the other side. So we'll do ourselves the uh, letters on this one. Second row down again, C, 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 P, dash, this one, dash again. And then we'll do our exact same numbers. Two, uh, sorry, four, two, six, four, one. And there we go. And another detail that you can add in is at the very front of the plane up on this uh, right side without the door. You can do yourselves just before um, the window here and yourself a sign, second row down again, just write AN-2. And this is of course the, uh, the plane name like the uh, model of the plane like so. So if you're a bit, of, a bit of an aviation geek like I am, you can maybe write that on there, just uh, keep a collection of these or something along those lines. But yeah, let me know what you do in the comments below. I'd love to hear it's pretty awesome stuff. That is looking awesome. Okay then, I think there's just a few more details we can get done today. And then we've completed the entire Yuri's plane built in Minecraft. So now we'll just take ourselves a stone button, some cobwebs, some scaffolding, a lead, a brown banner, elytra, spruce slabs, and some spruce trapdoors as well. Firstly, with our stone buttons, we can actually take these on the ceiling in the cockpit. We'll do one here and here. And then we'll take ourselves our spruce slab below the, the fence gates. And then we'll do ourselves two spruce trapdoors, one behind the uh, fence gate, so you can do it against the window, and fold it down, and then one up from the slab like so. Then you have two sort of cockpit seats like so. We'll add in the actual controls to the plane. So we'll do two elytras, just then like so. You can do these upside down if you want for like the actual aircraft kind of sticks. And they look a bit cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Then we'll do a brown banner just here against the window. So you have to shift or crouch click for that one. We'll do two leads on these uh, item flame, flames, item frames, <laughs> like so, just for a little bit of representation there. And then we'll take our scaffolding out here so you can get in and out of the plane. Just like so. Much easier. Good stuff. It's very good for escorting prisoners inside as well, which is awesome. Uh, <laughs> and then we'll take ourselves our stone button again, replacing it down here if you didn't already. 
just like so. And finally, you take your cobwebs and you go from the exhaust and going back out the, uh, the side of the aircraft. So what we'll do is we'll go one, two, shift or crouch click for the window here. And then we're gonna fill up this space in here so that we have ourselves two lots of fence covered in smoke. So we're trying to get like this to come through two layers of smoke, two layers of fence. So one, two, like so. This is gonna be the same on both sides. Now, you don't wanna cover the door, so you're gonna try and make the wind sort of carry this upwards. Now, it's very difficult to make this happen and make it look natural. So it can be very, very difficult to get this sort of natural pattern going for it. Um, but when you get it in there, you know, you should be able to uh, take a step back and look at it and be like, yo, that looks really cool. So um, yeah, you don't want like masses amount of smoke because then it will look like it's on fire. But you do want enough to make it look like, you know, the engines are started up and it's quite old. So it's kind of taking its time and yeah, it's just really, really gravelly and awesome. Like the engine is going straight for it. So we'll do the same on this side as well. And again, once you have both of these done at the same time, Remember, this is a single engine plane, so you definitely want to get both the engines, both the exhaust, sorry, to be smoky. Then it will look awesome. Uh, let's go for this one. Just in here as well. So we have the two, like I said. There we go. That looks good. For some reason, I find that this side of the plane always seems to come out better than the other. I think it's because we don't have a door to worry about, so we can kind of go a bit closer to the plane and, like, less worrying about like instantly going up with the smoke so yeah once you have at least it back just before the tail then you can call it a day and uh, take a look at it again come around the side look at it if you're happy with it then of course call it done if you're not go back and just you know maybe switch it around a little bit until you're happy with it but yeah that looks really cool I'm chuffed with that that looks awesome and there we go that is all completed. Another final, final thing, guys. If you want to build this in the snow, it would look so, so cool. Of course, I built mine on a super flat world here. This is my Strain of Things world. Um, but uh, yeah, it would have been way cooler in the snow. So if any of you guys do actually build it in your mini sort of Russia, and you uh, would like to show me and share it with the entire Assassin Hood, please share it on uh, social media, on your social media or whatever, and tag me in uh, like Instagram or Twitter or something at wheel assassin guides or at wheel assassin on twitter i'll drop them in the description anyway so you can check them all out but yeah i really really love to see this in the proper sort of surroundings it would look so cool in like a diorama so please if you can show me that that would be epic um but yeah guys thank you so much for watching it's been awesome to build another strainer things tutorial and i'm not gonna lie i love building like i said i love building planes i love building vehicles in minecraft so uh, to have built a plane tutorial which i've never done before actually uh it was awesome and um, if you did enjoy this one and you would like to see more definitely let me know in the comments below but also please consider joining the assassin hood today for free by subscribing and uh like i said if you did enjoy please be sure to drop a like too um yeah guys that is it for this wheel assassin guide if you are interested in more stranger things tutorials coming soon and uh tutorials from basically anything really i build anything <laughs> please go ahead and check out my other content too uh, as you can see i'm on my strain of things world we have the harrington house just here we have i think the creel house is somewhere around here as well it might not be in this area that's a 7-eleven but there is a creel house up that direction too and like loads and loads more so please go ahead check them all out there's playlists on my channel with tons of strain of things content so it's all there for your uh, perusal <laughs> take care of yourselves guys have an excellent rest of your day stay safe stay tuned and goodbye for now thank you for watching